I'm Johnny Millennium, and this is The Rock. How's it going, everybody? I, I mean, Victor Lucas. <laughs> this is Film Fury, and we just came out of a skyscraper. Yes, we did. To see, you know, to talk about this movie, uh, which is called Skyscraper. Yes. And it stars The Rock and Nev Campbell. And let me say, I hadn't seen Nev Campbell for a while. Yep. I used to watch her in the old show Catwalk. Right. And then Party of Five. Wow. We're that old. Someone's got a crush on Nev Campbell. I did have it. You know what I did? Who, who I must didn't? admit. She was great. She was great. She still is great. Yeah. She, she is great, and she's actually very solid in this movie she yes. plays the rock's wife and they have a couple of kids together and the rock plays the rock uh who has to save <laughs> yeah. the kids and the family and the skyscraper yes yes from terrorists they cut off his leg though and so now the rock has a fake leg and he still has to run across one of those giant cranes, cranes and, and jump into a building jumps into a burning building the tallest building on earth and i thought it was pretty funny that the like the first i don't know 20 minutes of the movie is like all powerpoints telling you about the the schematics of the building of and how course, big it yeah, is yeah. and how, where all the security well, systems it's, are it's kind of like a science fiction building it's not yeah. just like the towering inferno some old building right. it's a brand new state of the art thing it was cool. Ma made in china yeah. and in hong uh, kong yeah in hong kong there and it's ridiculous yeah it's over the top. So it's many cool. goddamn floors, and yeah. you know, four or five times the size of the biggest building in the world, well, with this huge sphere at the top, yes. with all these goddamn things in it yeah. that don't make any sense to be there. Yeah. All these holographic, not holographic oh, yes. images. I knew when the movie started. I'm like, this is where the movie will end. Yeah, and I don't want to spoil too yeah, much. What are you going to spoil? Well, it's a movie about a skyscraper that's yeah. on fire. And The Rock's going to save his family. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean do, you know do, you think, that, right? do you think he's going to fail? <laughs> yeah. Did he fail, Vic? They actually show you in the trailer that he chops an elevator and it flies down. Yes. And they pass right through the fire and they save each I, other. Do you know what he did that? And I'm yeah. like, you don't know what's down there. You yeah. can't send your family down there. Listen, if you're looking for logic in this movie, that's your first problem, okay? Yeah, There's yeah, yeah, not yeah. A, logic, a lot of logic in this thing. It's really just about adrenaline and it's about a lot of height shots. And I think they did a pretty good job at setting the, uh, the tone of the film and giving us a sense of uh, scale, scale and, and, and tension and I, my, my hands were legitimately getting sweaty as well, mine, I was, mine were I was wiping yeah, them down yeah. I have a terrible fear of heights right. and the movie starts I'm like great <laughs> just great and you know the rocks jumping out of the building and strings and hanging out I know, outside hold, of the window holding bridges together for I mean oh my god it's ridiculous it's it like, so ridiculous and, and what's funny about the rock is like he's such a competent guy. charismatic guy yeah. you know like a really interesting dude but his body is so super heroic that it doesn't do him any justice i know it's like they when you make a movie with him it's like well no one would believe that you actually walk on planet earth so we have to give you some stuff that no other human, human being, being can do, do. and, and it just makes it so unbelievable the most heroic person on this planet would not even do one of these things that he did like 20 of in this movie right and honestly like he's been through hell already that's why he lost his leg that's what the whole setup of the film is so dumb. and so he's anti-gun so he's kind of like that's batman so with a folk, with a fake leg who loves duct tape and there's actually a sequence of this thing where he's climbing on the on a building <laughs> Duct tape. Like like Tom Cruise in that movie, in the Mission yeah. Impossible movie, except he's got duct tape all over. And I, I know. Like, I was just like, I, what am I watching? I think I just, duct tape might have paid for a little uh, product. Maybe. I know this. he's taping yeah. up his arm. You can never have enough duct tape, I yeah. think he said at one point. There was a sense of believability in this building. Like, with yeah. the stuff that's happening in Dubai, and we know that there are massive buildings. They can and, make these things, And for they sure. can make them. And, and honestly, like, there's a big chunk of, uh, you know, the world scientists and stuff that think that we're going to have to kind of grow build up or build something. up as the uh, you know the population well i'm having a rock in growing. every building man right we need him because <laughs> it'll be on fire in a second but these terrorists not saying what they wanted they wanted one thing and they yeah. had to blow up an entire building <laughs> to do that i mean it was so disgustingly gross and ridiculous and over the top yes. i i didn't and you know i didn't like the villains i thought the villains were super lame the uh, the Chinese girl uh, yeah. who's on their side, yes. who's really evil, she was cool as hell. She I was cool, her. but there was that was also like the stereotypical femme fatale that's going to kick everybody. Yeah, I liked ass. her though. She was solid. Like yeah. performance-wise, she was more interesting than the main bad guy. Yeah, absolutely. He was just a stereotype. Yeah, there were a lot of stereotypes right. and a lot of predictability. And oh, it's yeah. amazing that John McTiernan's Die Hard is oh, referenced so often in movies. Nothing has come close to Die Hard. Nothing has ever edged no, close to Die Hard, no. except maybe some of the elements in 2 and 3 were almost like the first Die Hard. But Die Hard 1 is so seminal 
And you can't, like, if you're going to encroach on that territory, well, you, you know, have to escalate. And all they do, it's like they, like, that was the perfect hamburger, the, like the first Die Hard. Yeah. And this is like a, you know, four stack in and out burger with all kinds of sauce. It's like too much. Yeah, well, not BS. only did they copy that movie and a yeah. whole bunch of others, right at the beginning and right at the end, I'm like, Enter the Dragon. This Ridiculous. is going to be Enter the Dragon. Yeah. And it was an Enter the Dragon fight sequence. Which has also been ripped off a million, a million times. times. And it's such a cheesy cop-out it sequence. It's so and cheesy. It's like, you because, guys have never seen this before. The problem, do -do 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 -do. the problem is, in the top of this sphere where that is created, yeah. what is the point of that? No, yeah, no. There's no point. No. It's and, so dumb. And there's a ton of green screen around all of that stuff. And yeah. uh, honestly, there's a lot of green screen where you're, you know, trying to believe that they're that high, but you know it's all it's all rendered and it's all CG and <laughs> still a competent job, interesting effects. I actually like San Andreas more than this movie. Did you yeah, see the no, I didn't. One? I even know that was a pretty fun movie. No, I, you know this I, this is a marginal up from Rampage. <laughs> And that's not saying much. <laughs> it's a marginal up. So maybe, I love the, no, I may, love the maybe rock. next month's rock movie will be a tick better too. I what wanna, is next month's rock? I, is there know, another I wanna, one next month? I want to see the rock tackle. Do you know what? Do you know, I was saying, yeah. wouldn't it be funny if he was in a remake of the Twins? Yeah. Doing something like that. Sure. You know, like yeah. or you know, he's pregnant in the next movie. Uh, yeah. I, I think he already did the Tooth Fairy already, didn't he? I. You know, he's hard not to love this guy though. I like the rock. Yes. And, I like and the, the rock. movie is not. It's not the worst thing you're ever going to see. It, it is the shits. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking just, terrible. Well, I just, I just think it's forgettable. I don't, it's, I don't it's know. It's beyond it's, forgettable. It's garbage. I, I don't know. I, there's some, was the movie some garbage? Sequences. The movie was garbage. Well, yeah, totally, totally. These guys, they haven't even seen any. Uh, uh, yeah, and they're already calling it. <laughs> okay, I'm with those guys too. Uh, no, what are you gonna give uh, skyscraper? Oh, my friend? I'm gonna give it the shittiest of shit scores. I'm well, gonna, that would be a zero. Are you giving it well, a zero? Well, no, I'm not. But I'm gonna give it a shitty score. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. Okay, so an average film. I liked it a little more than that. It gets a six out of ten from me. Yeah, you're very generous.